Pati sabat po, tayo po yung buko para sa panalangin. Aming Diyos, nadakila sa lahat, kami po ay lumalapit, nagpupuri po sa mga sandaling ito. Sama-sama po kami, Ama, na lumalapit, humingi po, Panginoon, ay inyong pong uh, baspas, humingi po, Panginoon, na inyo pong paggabay sa aming pong pag-aaral ngayong sandaling ito. Kami rin, Ama, humingi po, Panginoon, ng wisdom and understanding and humingi po ng Holy Spirit, ng Espiritu niyo, Ama, na samaan po kami sa pag-aaral na ito. Salamat, Ama, and nawa po ay patawarin niyo po kami sa aming po mga nagawang kasalanan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Ang pag-uusapan po natin ngayon ay may title na Trust in the Lord. Kung babalikan po natin ang mga kwento po sa, sa Biblia, narito po si Noah na God asked him to build an ark. And we know the story na God sustained him and his family. Ang kwento naman po ni, I, ni, ni, uh, ni Abraham God asked Abraham to sacrifice Isaac, but God has provided a sacrifice instead of Isaac. Next, see si Joseph. Um, Joseph was bought as a slave in in Egypt. God bless him and his works. Si Elijah. Uh, sa kwento naman po ni Elijah. Uh, God sends a drought and uh, nung panahon pong yun si Elijah po ay naninira sa desert and God provided for him and a lot of stories na about po sa mga taong katulad natin na God provided for them God sustained them ang unang pong point na gusto ko pong ishare sa inyo is God brings these people to a place for them to realize that God is their source and their security. Sa atin po, ikaw at ako, you and me, the same thing, God sends us to somewhere. There we realize that He is our source and security. Um, when I was sent, <laughs> sent, <laughs> And Nueva Ecija to study in in a state university. That time, I was looking for for something that uh, will help me. That time, and God was there. I I didn't feel I I didn't feel alone because God was there. He sustained me. Yung financial needs, um, other needs, knowledge. Yan. God provided me scholarship. Kasi nung time na yun, um, wala pa pong uh, free tuition sa tertiary. Yan. And uh, God provided. I graduated. I was asked to teach there. And God is so good. But pandemic, pan, pandemic came. <clears throat> I lost my job, my good paying job. Lose people, hurt people. Almost lose hope. I stopped pursuing my studies, my master's degree. Got some broken relationships. I cried every night. People hated me. These things were not working out. But that time, I know it's not permanent. Kasi God promised that He's there. And totoo nga, these things are not permanent. God sustained me once again. I got a call. I got a call for a job. I get another job, then another job, and then new opportunities came. If 
if um ititingnan po natin siya sa perspective na you remember kapag tayo po ay nanonood ng television na meron pong nagbabalita ng weather, 'di ba? Mga weather news. May pinapakita yung larger view ng Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao at nakikita natin yung possible na daan, pinapakita nila yung possible na daanan ng mga bagyo. And sila, itong mga bagyo na ito ay hindi sila permanent na doon lang. Sila ay nagpapas through sa Philippines. And after that, maayos and comfortable na ulit ang panahon. And then another bagyo ang darating. Pa paulit-ulit pero these things are not permanent and uh, sa buhay natin the same thing nakikita ng Panginoon yung larger view and let's trust God and itong mga bagyong ito ay dadaan lang God wants us to hold still till the storm passes over so be firm in God trust in His word Let's hold His promises. Sabi nga sa kanta, Till the storm passes over, Till the thunder sounds no more, Till the clouds roll forever, From the sky hold me fast, Let me stand in a hollow, of thy hand keep me safe till the storm passes by <clears throat> so if God could sustain us if God can and God sustain us in when we have jobs kaya niya rin tayong sustain when we don't have jobs or we lose our jobs if God can supply financial aids, then He can get a school, He can give us financial aid for these schools. If God was able to keep um, the businesses in one location, He can keep an, our business in another location. God was, was able to sustain a building in one place, he can sustain it in another. Napatunayan po namin yan when, when we are um, when we are little until now. Na kung nakikita namin na kung saan pumunta si Papa, God is really blessing him. Na God is providing for him and for us. Kahit saan pumunta, saan ka malipat, God is there. God is willing to sustain your needs. And, uh, isa lang po ang ating pwede pong um, alalahanin na merong storm, may mga distraction, na Satan can, can't hurt the Father. He cannot hurt the Lord. So, ang gagawin niya is to hurt is uh, is to hurt us, his children. God, um, um, God loves us, so God, um, Satan is trying to to so to confiscate our faith in God. Satan confiscates our trust in God. So there, nasasaktan po si nasasinat nasinasaktan yun si Lord in that way na nawawala yung ating tiwala sa kanya because we become distracted sa mga bagyong dumarating. Before, gaya ng kwento ko sa inyo, I was once attached to the blessing and not to the source. Akala ko, I'm connected to the source. But, when na-distract ako na Satan con confiscated all these blessings, this, uh, na, na wala itong mga blessing na ito. Uh, my faith almost runs out. Pero thankful, God is still there. He, he sends the Holy Spirit to keep, to remind us, to keep reminding us na to remember His promises. <clears throat> Okay. 
because if Satan con confiscates itong mga bagay na ito, and we are connected to the source, we are trusting God, our faith will stand still. Because God is constant, He will not change, He will, He has already the victory. Yeah. So our faith will stay, in, will stay, or will stand still. When Peter was in the vessel, so kwento po na sa Matthew 14, when Peter was in the vessel, his faith in Jesus was there. It was so strong. Same nung unang pag-step niya sa water. He is really trusting God. Nandun talaga yung trust niya. Until step ng second, third, 22nd, siguro, 23rd, and so on. But he got distracted. That time, when he stepped into the water, or before pa lang na mag-step siya sa water, nasa, nasa vessel or nasa boat pa lang siya, the wind is strong. It's the same no pag-step niya sa water. It's still the same. <clears throat> so, the same ng the same ng buhay natin. We, when we have, we have jobs, we have this faith. We, we have a strong faith too. But we must remember, if God can sustain Peter in the boat, He can sustain him in the water. Or in, uh, on the water. If God sustained us when we have a job, he can sustain us when we lose our job. If God can supply financial aid, He can provide us school when our financial aid runs out. So, all of these things, God is still there. Meron or wala. Dumadaan talaga yung mga uncomfortable things sa buhay natin, but these are not permanent. God will sustain us. In times like this, you need a savior. In times like this, you need an anchor. Be very sure, be very sure. Your anchor holds and grips the solid rock. Trust in the Lord, have faith in Him. Our faith must be relational. Our prayer must be relational. Just like having relationships to other people. Sharing our thoughts with Him. Sharing our feelings, our needs, our wants. God cares for our wants too, our desires. Learning each, and, um, learning each other every single day yan yung relational faith morning and evening sabi nga ni sabi nga ni Joshua morning and evening we are learning about God we are learning about the our partner which is God our source our, our source our security yan so um, para po sa closing, yan, iwan ko po sa inyo itong verse na Psalm 57 verse 1. Until the storm passes by, God is my refuge. Ito po yung prayer ni David nung siya po ay hinahabol po ni Saul. And I have the same prayer for all, all of us here. Na until the storm passes by, God is our refuge. When Satan confiscates our faith in Jesus, he's really trying to hurt God. Don't let it happen. Let's be relational to God in those uncomfortable circumstances because he will sustain us. And this is my prayer.